All right, everyone, we're gonna talk about uh, jerk baits today. So I got a lot of requests for, hey, can you do a video to show me what kind of jerk baits you use and why you use them? And what's the different uh, tips and tricks that you use while you're out there in the water? So first let's talk about why I use them and when I use them. So uh, why, the why, the so what is uh, whenever there's a temperature drop in the winter, the fish are gonna get a little more lethargic. Uh, you're gonna see the bait flicker around the water. You're gonna see it kind of get sporadic. Uh, they might float around. You're gonna see the bait act a little different. Uh, it's gonna be a little sluggish. Also, the fish are gonna be a little more sluggish, uh, especially here in Florida. Uh, Florida bass, they don't like uh, cold water, cold weather snaps. So what I'll do is uh, I do a bunch of different uh, presentations. And again, I'll go out in the water and show you how I do it as well. But I'll throw a long cast out. Um, I'm gonna use a uh, medium heavy uh, jerk bait rod. I'm also gonna have a, uh, I usually use a seven, uh, five to one ratio, real ratio. And um, depending on the depth of the water, uh, that's what kind of line I'm gonna use. So some people say use mono, some people say use the uh, fluorocarbon. I think uh, I, I use the fluorocarbon, I've had no problem, I've caught uh, hundreds of fish with jerk baits. So uh, I would say that uh, fluorocarbon doesn't make a big difference. What does make a difference is the, the line you use. So uh, when I say that, I'm talking about the actual size of it. So if I don't, so for instance, this is a three to five foot uh, jerk bait. If I want this to go uh, a little less, maybe uh, two, two to four, what I'll do is I'll add uh, 15 to 20 pound fluorocarbon on there and uh, the, the bait won't actually go down as far as if I was using a lighter line. It won't dig as much when it's going down. So you can change the line. Uh, another thing you do is add weights to it. You'll see them in some of my other videos. I'll actually add weights to the jerk baits to uh, make them go deeper. Um, or what you can do is buy the bait that will actually go deeper. It has a bigger tongue on it. Uh, I use a lot of mega bass jerk baits and uh, they have the uh, ones that go down to 11 foot. You get the plus edition to go down to uh, even deeper or a two plus. So that's another option for you. Um, also, if you haven't already noticed, uh, you'll see I have a red hook on the front. So what this red hook is doing is uh, it's giving them a target. Um, I usually put the red hook in the middle. That way, if they miss the red hook in the or the front, if they miss it, they're gonna grab this back hook. Something else that uh, you probably noticed is uh, these hooks look a little different than what comes stock on there. So I did upgrade the hooks to a uh, uh, larger size. And also what I've done is I've gone to an EWG versus a straight shank. So the reason you're gonna do a EWG uh, for me this time of year is usually they're gonna grab the whole bait. They don't peck at it too much. Usually they're gonna be very aggressive. They're hungry, they're feeding up pre-spawn, post-spawn. So I don't really have to worry too much about them uh, nipping at it. If they are short striking it and they're not fully committing to the bait, then what I'll do is I'll go to a longer shank. I'll go to a uh, more traditional style long shank hook. Now I am using the number, uh, these are number fours. So uh, on the smaller baits, they may come with sixes. I go ahead and upgrade to the fours. I like the fours uh, all around whenever I'm using the, uh, the jerk baits. I might go to a two on some of my larger uh, baits, but uh, I, I typically stay around that four, size four. I'm using the uh, Mustad hooks here. There's a bunch of different ones you can use. I'm using the uh, Ultra Point. These are the triple grip. Uh, these have been uh, very effective for me. Also, uh, I use the um, the different types of, uh, um, again, I told you about the shanks, but I use all kinds of different types of shanks and also used uh, different types of uh, thickness. So do I want a thin wire or do I want a heavier wire? You can also get a thicker wire on there. The thicker the wire, uh, the more sturdy the rod you need for that hook set. Uh, if you go with a thin wire, um, as soon as you lean into the fish, it's gonna stick right through. So this is about medium level. Um, again, I'm using a medium heavy rod, so I'll have no problem at all uh, making sure I get a good hook set. Um, when you're changing these hooks out, and I've got other videos showing you how to change them out, you definitely want a split ring uh, tool. And then um, something else you want to change out, which I haven't changed out on these yet. Um, most baits come with some type of uh, ring on the front. Uh, looks like Rapala's and the uh, other types of baits I have here uh, come with a circle. I don't like the circle. I like using the... Uh, um, the ring type, uh, the kind of the oval shape. Um, most of your Strike King come with these. Um, I'll usually change out that and uh, add that snap ring to the front. That snap ring is available on the website at defensebaitandtackle.org. Go check that out. Um, but I do have all the hardware on there. I'm about to break that out and put those on each of these uh, baits. Um, that gives more action in the water. And again, I'll do a separate video and show you the different action on that. So uh, another thing uh, that I'm doing is I'm matching the hatch. So when I get out there um, on the lake, I'm kind of looking around, I'm pausing for a second, and I'm looking at the bait or the different uh, bait balls that are out there. I'm looking at my graphs. Uh, are they large bait? Is it small bait? Do I need to run the smaller baits? 
I've had days where people have been all around me throwing large baits. I'll pick up a small bait and I start uh, catching more fish. So definitely match the hatch there. Um, something else that I'm be doing here in Florida, I'm usually uh, jerking these jerk baits through uh, grass and um, thick vegetation. So sometimes a smaller profile is better. And then there's different types of jerk baits to get. So you got the uh, the rip stop. Um, this is the smaller version of the rip stop. It has a unique tail in the back. Uh, you can jerk, 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 and then pause. You got suspended uh, jerk baits. You got floating jerk baits. Uh, you got deep diving jerk baits. So again, make sure that you know uh, the water depths that you're going to be uh, fishing. Um, if I if I'm pre fishing, I find out that the jerk bait is the deal. And that's what I'm going to be fishing throughout the whole tournament. What I'll do is uh, I'll tie in four or five different jerk baits. You'll see me with my uh, some of my videos, I have four or five jerk baits tied on. Um, and um, another little trick I do is I, I will stamp it on there or right on the bottom, uh, the depth of these uh, jerk baits. And then that way I can cover all different areas. If I pull into a different pocket or a different canal or wherever I'm going to be fishing, I can uh, quickly grab the right depth and I cover a lot of water quickly. So again, I uh, hope this helps you out. If you have any questions or uh, concerns, leave them down in the comments below. And as always, uh, please uh, click the like button if you uh, like what you saw, and I'll uh, see you on the water.